In medical management and hair loss therapy, uh, to be honest, uh, we still have only two FDA approved uh, medications. Uh, one is the finasteride drug and one is minoxidil solution. Uh, one is the alpha, uh, phi alpha reductase inhibitor and one is the DHT inhibitors. Both work in reducing the testosterone hyperactivity such a way that we are able to prevent hair loss and in miniaturization of the hair follicle etc. But this has been in the market for almost 30, 35 years, in fact 38 years. And I would still say they are the most dependable products in the market and the most economically available treatment still. There are a lot of new methods or new uh, preparations that's come into market. One is the peptide preparations. The peptides actually are uh, biologically active substances which help in actually rejuvenating. They've got collagen, elastin remodeling, anti-inflammatory effect. And these kind of preparations are useful in patients who would like to avoid the side effects of minoxidil and finasteride, which is a medication as it is. So it's, it's got its own restriction on, let's say, the age group of a patient or or a patient who's got some other systemic complication already. So if you want a patient who is probably, you know, on a, in a age where she can get pregnant or postpartum or after pregnancy lactation induced, you know, telogen effluvium, it's called the hair loss after pregnancy. These kind of patients, of course, peptides is the most safest medication. Of course, the results, I won't say are as consistent as minoxidil, but it's satisfactory. Now, two other things what has come, two, three other things I would say has come into play is actually, one, we have the PRP therapy, uh, platelet-rich plasma, where actually we are using uh, the platelets the, from the growth, which contain the growth factors from the human blood itself. We are taking about 20 ml of blood, centrifuging it, and the middle portion, which is rich in platelets, uh, platelet-rich plasma, which is about three to four times or five times above the normal platelet count, we are taking it in the scalp. Now, what is present in platelets is there is about six to seven growth factors. So these growth factors stimulate and help us in stopping the inflammatory process or rejuvenation or giving results. Now, there is some lack of understanding of the entire procedure of PRP. Uh, the science of how it really works is still not understood. But this regenerative medicine, as I call it, I mean, as we call it in the last seven years, has grown leaps and bounds actually. So they do seem to be the future actually in terms of medical management because uh, these cells are giving results or these products are giving results even though we are not able to understand it completely. Now the next stem is stem cells actually, stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy is something that is present uh, in, in medicine field, uh, in various fields actually, bone marrow cells, normal stem cells, and as far as skin is concerned, we can even take adipose cells. Where we are taking the cells and uh, taking a particular part of the stem cell, uh, multiplying it in lab and re-injecting it back into the scalp. There are, there is still not a public, lot of studies or publications that has been accepted, but if you, if you look into the medical journals in 2017-18, a uh, lot of studies, at least around 25-30 studies have come out saying that it's working. So this is something which we can say is got a potential and which we can work in. Now there is something like autologous micrograft procedure where actually it's a regenerative medicine, it's called Regenera, where actually we are taking a small piece of skin from a particular area of your scalp, biopsying it outside and developing it and injecting the serum back into the scalp. So this is again giving rise to uh, stem cells, progenerator cells, growth factors. So these three procedures seems to be giving quite a lot of improvement and I, I will never say they are replacement to the existing medical treatment. I would always put it this way, they are boosters to the existing treatment.